Hello friends, welcome to Continental Desi Kitchen. In today's video, we are going to see how to make our fish gravy, which is also known as catfish in English. This our fish gravy turns out very rich and delicious and is best to enjoy with hot steamed rice. So friends, let's get started with this delicious fish recipe. So here I have taken 4 pieces of our fish and now I will season them with some salt, say around half teaspoon. Then goes around 1 4 teaspoon of black pepper and the juice of half a lemon. I am not going to add turmeric as I want to make the gravy slightly white. Now rub the salt, black pepper and lemon juice well over the fish pieces and we will let them dress for about 5 to 10 minutes. Next here I have taken 4 almonds or badam, 8 to 10 cashews or kaju. 1 tablespoon of melon seeds or mugach and 6 to 7 raisins or kishmish and in a mixer grinder we will transfer all the ingredients let some water and grind this into a smooth paste let's check this once and now into this i'll be adding 2 tablespoon of curd or dahi and we'll grind this again to a smooth paste this should be ready now so the white paste which is the base of our fish gravy is ready and now we shall start with the cooking process. For that hit a karhai and into it I'll add some mustard oil. Spread the oil on all the sides of the karhai and when the oil is hot we'll add the fish pieces one by one. Keep the flame on medium. After about a minute we will flip the fish pieces and fry them until they turn slight golden brown and to let you know our fish has a medium firm texture with a mild flavor and is a rich source of protein and calcium also we need to be careful by flipping the fish as they are very delicate and by now the fish pieces are fried golden brown so i will take them off and now in the same karhai i'm going to add two medium onions which has been thinly sliced and now on medium flame we will fry the onions until they turn golden brown and translucent and once the onion slices turn golden brown we will add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and one green chili slit into half saute this until the raw taste of ginger garlic goes away And at this stage, I will add 3 to 4 cashew sliced half, 2 to 3 almonds chopped lengthwise and few raisins. Saute them for a while. Alright, all the dry ingredients has been well sauteed. And now time to add the dry fruits and curd paste which we had prepared earlier. And now on low flame, we will stir and mix the paste so that they are well combined with the dry ingredients and now I will season the gravy with 1 teaspoon of my homemade garam masala powder this is the same garam masala which I had prepared in my duck fried recipe then goes around 1 4 teaspoon of salt or as per taste and a pinch of sugar to balance the taste now mix the seasonings well and we will stir them until oil starts to separate Keep the flame on medium but now the paste is well sauteed and oil has started to separate at this stage i will add some water to form a gravy like consistency give this a mix and once the gravy starts to boil we'll add the fried our fish pieces one by one and on medium flame we will now cover and cook this for about 3 to 4 minutes after about 4 minutes we will remove the lid and by now the gravy has also thickened slightly I will check the salt proportion everything is well balanced and our our fish gravy is now ready to be served hot and friends here goes our delicious our fish gravy into the serving bowl it's best to enjoy this yummy fish gravy with some hot steamed rice. So friends, I hope you will try this fish recipe soon. 
also share your feedbacks and do subscribe my channel for more interesting and yummy recipes in future see you soon in my next video until then bye bye take care and stay safe